Qasim Dinistanov was a prominent Kyrgyz scientist, politician and poet. He served as the first minister of education of the Kyrgyz Republic. He was born in 1901 in the village of Chirpikte in the Isuko province. In the time of Qasim Dinistanov, the Kyrgyz literacy and education was minimal. Among the nomad people, so at the beginning of the 20th century, the literacy rate was only 2.5% in 1924. In 1916, after an unsuccessfully revolt against the Tsarist authorities, most of the residents of Isako fleeing the Russian troops, they escaped to China. Qasim and his parents were among them. They returned in December 1917. After a period of unsuccessfully attempting to get education in Karakol, he moved to Almaty, where education opportunities did exist. All through Almaty authorities, he entered the Kazakh Institute of Education, which it called Kazin Pros, and it was located in Tashkent. According to historical archives, Kasim started to develop the first Kyrgyz alphabet while being a student at Kazim Pros. Some of his poems and prose were published in Kazakh newspapers and Kyrgyz scripts since 1922. We therefore could assume that his alphabet was well known among Kyrgyz students living in Tashkent. To go by Siddiq Bekov, a famous Kyrgyz writer, mentioned that Kasim's songs written in the new script were very popular among the Kyrgyz youth. In 1924, Qasim Tinstanov, Osman Kul Aliyev, Bazar Kul Danyarov, and several others formed a scientific commission which developed a Kyrgyz alphabet based on Arabic script. They created the first Communist Party newspaper in Kyrgyzstan, Erkinto. The day when the first issue of the newspaper was published is considered the birthday of Britain Kyrgyz language. By the end of 1924, they came to a conclusion that a Kyrillic or a Latin based alphabet would have been more adequate given language peculiarities for Kyrgyz people. In addition, such an alphabet would have been more convenient for the use of publishing equipment at the time. Early in 1924, after the approval of the new alphabet, Qasim created the first Kyrgyz reading books for the first three grades of primary schools. The grammar of the Kyrgyz language, covering the primer, phonetics, morphology, and syntaxis. Qasim created a very successful terminology for the Kyrgyz grammar. Some 90% of the whole terminology created by him is still in use. He created curricular as well as textbooks on language study for pedagogic institutes. Before the socialist revolution, the Kyrgyz people who did not have written language had a very rich oral folklore. Such epics as Manas were extremely popular among the people. It was 1923 that Qasim Tinistanov first went on the expedition to eastern shore of Isiko to collect the folklore. Later, when he became the head of academic center and the chair of the People's Commissariat of Education, he continued to work on Manas. In May 1931, after a long health treatment, Qasim returned to his work and headed to the Department of Language, Kyrgyz Research Institute of Culture. Unfortunately, Tinistanov was arrested as part of the Stalin's Great Purge on the 1st August 1938 and was subsequently executed on the 6th of the November the same year. He continued to work on Kyrgyz grammar. His role in organization of the Kyrgyz Research Institute of Culture was significant. He was a great man for the Kyrgyz nation and passed away very young at his age 37 in 1938.